Al Qaeda claims it was behind the attempted attack on Flight 253, providing Abdul Muttalib with technically advanced advice. The terrorist organization says the attack was in response to U.S. assisted airstrikes against them in Yemen, threatening today, we are bringing you slaughter and we have prepared for you men who cherish death, just like you cherish life. Abdul Muttalib told investigators al-Qaeda operatives in Yemen made him underwear with the PETN sewn into the band to escape detection. A syringe recovered at the scene is being analyzed by the FBI. It contained a liquid, possibly lighter fluid. The al-Qaeda connection has still not been verified by investigators, but the explosive and the method are similar to those used by shoe bomber Richard Reed eight years ago. It's actually showing that um, if al-Qaeda was indeed involved with this, uh, that they are going to methods that have proven reliable in the past. In the last few days, a timeline of Abdul Muttalib's past has come into focus. CBS News has learned he studied in Yemen in 2005. He then headed to England. This video is believed to be him with an Islamic student group there. He graduated from University College in London in 2008 and then traveled to Egypt and Dubai. His family says he was in Dubai through July studying at a branch of an Australian university, but lost contact with him after that. The government of Yemen now says Abdul Muttalib was there between August and December. His father, a prominent banker in Nigeria, was so concerned, the family said in a statement today, he reported the lack of contact to Nigerian security agencies two months ago and warned the U.S. Embassy in November that his son was involved with, quote, religious extremists. The next they saw him, it was in pictures like these, after passengers say they stopped Abdul Muttalib from trying to take down the Northwest flight. I saw a fellow passenger um, have a guy in a, like a chokehold, and he took him down the aisle to the, the business class section of the plane, which is in front of us. Abdul Muttalib will make his first court appearance a week from Friday, January 8th. That's when he'll have his detention hearing at the federal courthouse in Detroit. Harry? Jim Axelrod in Michigan tonight. Thanks.